Taki. Yeah. Today we will learn something about forces and laws of motion and slowly we will get into the gravitation part, right? Unless we, we ha you have a uh, sound knowledge of forces and laws of motion, you cannot understand the gra gravity. Taki? Okay. So the subtopics for today's session is we will be learning about force, balanced and unbalanced forces, frequent Newton's laws of motion, free body diagrams. And if you permit, now we will proceed to gravitation also. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yes. What is a force, uh, Zaki? Define a force. Push a force. Ah, or pull is called a force. Okay, it's a layman's uh, definition. Okay. Uh, scientifically, how will you define force? It's an external agency which tends to change the state of rest or of uniform motion of a body, right? So, as you said, it is a push pull that one body exists on another body, okay? So, when forces are being exerted on the football, what are the forces here? What force can you identify when the football is kicked? What are the forces? Momentum, no impact. Yeah, I'm able to hear you clearly. Yeah, tell me. Uh, increase the volume. Increase. Uh, oh. There's a change in uh, velocity. Yeah, in velocity, of course. Uh, angle as well. Change angle. No, no. What forces are being exerted on the football? The person is kicking it. See, uh, one acceleration. is force of kick, and the one, yeah, you are right. The other one is force of gravity, right? Force of kick, and the other one is force of gravity. And the force of gravity will always act in the downward direction. Or this is downward. Measuring yeah. forces. How do you measure the forces, Zaki? Uh, what instrument do you do for measuring forces? From spring balance, isn't it? Uh, okay, spring balance is for measuring forces. And forces are measured in unit called Newton. Newton. Just to honor the scientist, we have taken the unit of uh, forces, Newton. We have named the unit of forces, Newton. Okay? Yeah. One Newton is equal to 1 kg meter per second square. This you are aware of. Right, Zach? Yes. So force are measured using a spring balance. Yeah. Balance forces. What are balance forces, Zaki? The balance that it will give you the answer for it. Uh, wait, force. When equal and uh, uh, uh. Wait, equal forces uh, in opposite direction or equal cancel out, isn't it? Yeah. When they cancel out, the net force on the system is zero. Yeah. Okay. So such type of forces are called balance forces. So acting on an object that are opposite direction as well as they are equal in size, magnitude. Size means I am talking about magnitude. Forces are called balance forces. Here the book is kept on a table. Okay. Because of the weight of the uh, book, Weight is always in the downward direction. And table is offering a normal reaction. Normal reaction will always happen perpendicular. Will act perpendicular to the surface. Okay, table is providing the necessary normal reaction. Reaction to the book. So these two forces are acting on the book. So they are balanced. They are equal and balanced. So the reason why the book is not moving. When it is equal to zero, that means there is no motion. There are two possibilities. I'll explain that possibility as I am into the session. So no, there is no change in velocity. That means two things may happen for this. The body will not be displaced or the body may not change in velocity. The, the body may keep itself in motion, in uniform motion, without changing its velocity. Okay, 
So when balance forces are acting on your body, there are two things possible. What are two things? One thing, the body may be at rest, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or the body be move with uniform velocity. Velocity means there is no change in with uniform velocity means there is no change in velocity. Okay, very very important. Whenever you are uh, doing this, the change in velocity is change in velocity. This is very very important. Two forces are balanced. They be two possibilities. One is the body may be at rest, or the body be moving with uniform velocity. Right? Okay. Yeah. Oh. So now let me define net force. Net force comes into play when there are unbalanced forces. Okay, balanced forces means sometimes that are opposite and not equal also, or the opposite and equal also. Any anything is possible. Okay, balanced forces when the forces are not equal and when they are acting in the opposite direction. This is wrong. Over here, this is not equal. Okay. Okay. Forces are not equal and are in opposite direction. Now just look at this patient. What is said in the slide? The person is pull the. Okay. Yeah. See what are the forces acting on this? Tension. Since the body is pulled, there will be an opposing force, isn't it, Zaki? What's that yeah. opposing force? Tension. Isn't it? Yeah. Friction, frictional force will be there, and the net force also. Net force is in the direction of the pull, right? Yeah. So just see, pull, F friction, okay. right? Only the F pull is greater than the friction, the body will start moving, okay. right? Yeah. So we have the body oh acting in the downward direction. And normal motion. These vertical forces are balanced. Normal motion and the weight which is acting in the downward direction, both are balanced. But which is unbalanced here? The horizontal forces. Unbalanced force is equal to F pull minus F friction. That is equal to F pull minus what? F friction. friction, F friction. Yeah. See, so divide in F net. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, what yeah. net force? Net force happens only when unbalanced yeah. forces oh. are, are acting. In the case of balanced force, net force will become zero. So that's all. <coughs> so, when unbalanced forces are acting, what happens to the velocity? Velocity does not constant. It keeps changing, velocity changes. And because of the change in velocity, there is acceleration come into play. Because of the acceleration, there is force. Okay. Okay. So this is what is in this direction. Direction of the pulling force. Okay. No. Oh, there is a thing. The stone in the diagram must be at rest. Since there is no net force acting on it. Do you agree or disagree? I agree. What the object shown in the diagram must be at rest since it's no net force. He himself is telling that they're balanced. The forces are balanced. Mm. Hey, uh, Jackie, okay. so the body is at rest. But there is more concept, no? So, there are two possibilities. What is other possibility? Uh. Ooh. With uh, friction, no, uh, resistance, air resistance, I guess. No, you just read the read the sentence properly. Oh. The shown in the diagram must be at rest, since no net force acting on it. Do you with the statement or disagree with the statement? Is it true yes, or false? Do you agree? Uh, yeah, the, just because there are balanced forces. That's yes. Yeah. That's the balance force 
addresses but that uh, means the body may be addressed or may be what i told you the bo body yeah. may be in motion with in motion with uh, hello yeah do you understand what i am saying the one addition is the body may be at rest may be at rest but one is the bo body may be at rest or the body may be in motion with form velocity right then the change in velocity there is no acceleration there are two possibilities as i said when back forces are acting on a body there are two possibilities okay did you understand yeah i show you then yeah net force does not cause motion and it does cause a change in motion or acceleration the body would be in uniform motion you are my uh, argument uh wait wait that must be at rest since there's no net force acting on it my address what is one more sentence to be added here or in uniform motion one sentence in order to make it right is or in uniform motion motion okay so there is no net force acting on it that should be the statement Did you understand that? Okay. Yeah. Now we have some uh, uh, the same thing. Yeah. Now what uh, what and all I have taught now. Now just combine your understanding of acceleration and the newly acquired knowledge that a net force causes an acceleration to determine whether or not the net force exists in the following situation. Complete the table. Yeah. You need to annotate it. Just. E equally spaced dots indicate uniform motion. Okay. Yeah. Right. right or no? No. Can you get right? You can write on the board. Done. good look up and tell me no okay very good this okay. side this is side this is side this is side this is to arrive this side excellent yeah now i want you to turn out why you have taken that why you have taken s for this for the first situation no for the second situation and s for the third situation and like that you just analyze okay, why you have opted for s that's one mm. uh because it's accelerating Ah, very good. Because of it is not equally spaced, right? The dots. Okay. Ah, equally spaced. That means the car moving with uniform 